Because, okay, when a guy is not mature, and by that I just mean he doesn't even know who the crap he is. He is not looking for a girl whom he can make happy. If a guy is not secure in himself, if he does not feel like he even knows who he is, like truly knows, if he is actually trying to go out and date somebody, by default, he is doing it for completely selfish reasons. How do I know this? You might ask. I don't know how someone is thinking. I don't know what is going on in someone else's head. No. But, I do know what is going on in my head. And I know what was going on in my head when I was extremely insecure about myself. When I felt like I couldn't do anything right. When I felt like I was just a burden to anybody and everybody. When I felt like just by being in someone's presence that I should essentially kiss the ground they're walking on because, oh my gosh, thank you for treating me like a normal person. I know I'm not normal. I know I'm really a total piece of crap. But thank you for treating me like I'm not. I was like that. And yes, I do still have, obviously, some issues. Duh, everyone does. But I can honestly say that when I was like that, every relationship that I had with anybody was completely toxic. What does it mean to be toxic? If something is toxic, that means it makes you sick. If you drink milk, that is six months expired. That is technically toxic because it's gonna make you freaking puke. Especially if you have lactose intolerance, but man, shh. Besides the point. So if you're in a toxic relationship, what does that mean? It means that you are only friends with people to make yourself feel good. You honestly and truly and sincerely don't believe that your presence around them is causing them any benefit. Your whole attitude everywhere you go is that you are taking, you are taking, you are taking. That, that's not what I'm saying. That's what you're saying to yourself. When you know who you are and you are okay with that even if you got issues, you are able to look at yourself in the mirror and say, look at that guy, he's got some problems, but you know what? I know that some people really benefit from just being around him. Now, some pathetic losers might say, Ooh, you sound arrogant. Don't be so stuck up. Uh, no. You know what is truly stuck up? I'll tell you what is truly stuck up. To truly believe that you are not shit. Yet, being not shit, you actually hang out around people. So you believe in your heart that you, by even freaking talking to somebody, are causing them problems. Now, I'm not saying that's true. But you believe it is. You do. Not anybody else, really. But you do. You go around every day with all of your friends or whatever you call them. And you say in your mind, I am causing you trouble by just being here. I know I'm annoying, but whatever. You gotta deal with it, right? Thank you for making me feel good about myself. Like, even though I know, like, you know. I have nothing good about me. At least you guys make me feel good. You, in that situation, are literally a walking, talking disease, and you literally know it. Just like how, with the freaking coronavirus, everybody's freaking quarantined because they gotta stay in the house, guess what? If you got the freaking coronavirus and you go outside, you are a selfish son of a bitch. Because you don't care. 
that you're sick and you're contagious and you'll make other people sick. You say, well, I get to go to the store. Well, I need to go walking down the street for no freaking reason. I don't care if I'm going to get some people sitting on a bus or whatever the frick they're doing. I don't care if they get sick. Because I, because I, because I, me, 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 me want to feel good about myself. That is why. That is why. Let me tell you. If a freaking pathetic kid, a little boy with no self-confidence, actually thinks that he deserves to be with a girl, he literally believes, since he has no self-confidence, since he doesn't know who he is, since he believes he has no worth, then it goes without saying the girl he gets with, he believes he is fucking her life up. Sorry to use such vulgar language. But he believes he's messing her up. He believes he is doing nothing but damaging her. Yet, these kinds of guys will say, I love you so much. I love you. I love you. But no. You don't. I'm saying this. To all those people with no confidence, who feel like they're pieces of crap, as well as myself, about six something years ago. You don't deserve anybody. Not if you cannot truly believe that you can actually, maybe, possibly be good to those around you. That you can actually have something to offer. If you can't think of anything you have to offer, learn more about your damn self and come back later. Because if you have to sit on your ass and just think in your own freaking gosh darn head for however the frick long it takes until you actually figure out what there is that is of worth, what there is that somebody might actually enjoy having inside of that cabeza of yours. Until you get to that point where you have that belief that you, being around others, brings good to them, stay the frick inside and stop being so freaking toxic to everyone around you. You don't deserve a girlfriend. You don't deserve anybody. Not until you believe who you are. Not until you figure out your own qualities and figure out why it is good for you to be around others. Until you get to that point, you are honestly a selfish piece of crap if you really think that you deserve a girlfriend. Because all you are going to do is suck the life right out of her. You don't know who you are, so what you gonna do? You gotta use her to make you feel good. You have a hole in yourself. That's a vacuum. It's gonna suck the life out of everyone around you until you fill it with your own confidence. And once you have confidence, you can be with a girl, you know what you got, you know what you're bringing to the table, and you can honestly believe that you are good for each other. Not just, she completes me. She makes me not feel like I really am a piece of crap. Even though I really don't, I, 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 I don't. But don't tell her that. Anyway, final thought, final point, summary of this whole thing. If you got no self-confidence, who the hell are you to think that you even should even consider polluting a, a girl with what you yourself believe to be nothing? but bad things. If you believe you have nothing, you, you already know. Because love is saying, this is what I have. I'm gonna give this to you because I care about you. But if you don't have, you can't give. That's all. If you don't have it, you can't give it. If you don't have security, you can't give security. 
And all you're gonna do is suck the life out of everybody you know. Get some confidence or stay the hell inside and never even talk to anybody. Do anything else is just plain selfish. Peace out. You know who I'm talking to if you're watching this. Bye-bye.